Hey, hello, IOD magicians. So welcome again in today's uh, this small demo. Many of you were asking me that uh, they want to communicate between two Jigbees with one ESP8266. One of the Jigbee will be the coordinator and another will be the receiver. So they were not able to uh, able to uh, set up this communication between two different Zigbees using single ESP8266. So this is the demonstration that I'm trying to explain you, trying to show you how do we set this up and how we can establish a communication between two Zigbees using one ESP8266. Uh, definitely for this uh, detailed explanation and the teaching, I will set up a detailed session on this soon in my live session but uh, for now you just have a look and have this demo so that you will have an idea that how does this work and uh, what you can expect uh, from the future live session but here i just want to show you this is the esp8266 as you are seeing here and here uh, this is one of the zigbee where i have seen c i have written c here as you can see this c is the coordinator means i have made this zigbee as a coordinator and this is the receiver. I have made this Zigbee as the receiver. This is here I have written R. So in this case, the Zigbee, the Zigbee, the Zigbee, where I have written the C, this will become the sender and this will become the receiver. And this sending and receiving will be done using ESP8266. So we will see how does, how does this work. Let me just explain you. This coordinator is serially connected to our ESP. And uh, this will send a serial data to ESP. And as soon as, um, sorry, it's other way around. So ESP will be sending data to this coordinator serially. So as soon as this coordinator will receive data from ESP, it will send data using radio frequency, Zigbee radio frequency to this receiver Zigbee. And as soon as this receiver will receive the data from this Zigbee over radio signal, then this will be, this is actually serially connected to ESP and then ESP can read the information from this Zigbee. So this is how one Zigbee can send data to another Zigbee using radio frequency wave. So the setup is pretty straightforward and uh, the detail session, I will explain in the detail in my live session. So just let me show you how does this work so that you will have an idea. Let me open the serial monitor. So this is the serial monitor. So here you will see every five seconds, the sender Zigbee is sending some data here. As you can see that it sent 84 and, we, and the receiver received the same value 84. And on the screen, you are seeing that every five seconds, the coordinator is sending some data which is being received by our receiver. And you can see the same data is being received by the receiver. So here you can see the communication is happening between two Zigbee modules using one ESP8266. One more thing just I wanted to show you here. So if you will see this uh, coordinator Zigbee, whenever it sends some data here, you can see this light is glowing up. So you can see every after five seconds, this light will glow up this orange color light. So this light signifies that it is sending some data to uh, other Zigbee. And at the same time, if this receiver side, if you will see this green color light is over here, which will be, which will be blown up as soon as it will receive the data from its receiver. So you can see that every five seconds, this orange light is glowing. And at the same time, the data is received by this Zigbee and it shows the green light over here. So if you're not able to see the light properly, let me switch off the lights here so that you can see it more clearly. It will be more uh, clear now. So you can see that the coordinator orange light will glow up orange. And at the same time, the receiver green light is also glowing up. It means the sending and receiving is happening between two Zigbee using one ESP8266. Let me switch on the lights here. Let me explain you one more time how this is happening. So I have connected this coordinator Zigbee serially with ESP. And also I have connected this receiver to my ESP as serial connection. So every five seconds, after five seconds, this ESP sends some data to this coordinator serially. 
as soon as this coordinator receives some data, it sends that data using radio frequency, using Zigbee radio frequency to the receiver. So this is the receiver. And then it will receive the data using radio waves, radio frequency. And as soon as this receiver will receive the data, it is it communicates the data again to ESP8266 serially because this Zigbee is connected serially to our ESP. So here we are seeing that two Zigbee are communicating between each other using Zigbee protocol and uh, ESP8266 as a medium. So friends, hope uh, you are able to understand that. And all IoT magicians, if you need this in detail, stay tuned with me soon. I will set up a detailed session on that. But if you need this before, if you need the code behind it, how I have done that, you can ask me in my WhatsApp group or you can ask in my Facebook group or you can give the comment section under the comment section. You can, you can find my number from the description of this video and then I can help you. So in on the uh, serial monitor also, you can see what data is being sent and what data is being received by the Zigbee modules. So IoT magicians, stay tuned with me. Soon I'm going to set up for the session. But before that, again, if you need this, let me know. I will help you on this. Take care of yourself, IoT magicians, and arigato.